Hello everyone, welcome to a foreigner farming in the Philippines. Well, I'm going to do something here that uh, I don't know, probably should have done a long time ago, but just never felt the need uh, because it, it takes a while. So I've turned off the power to the house, turned it off 10 minutes ago so that the refrigerator would have time to, so the pressure in the refrigerator would have time to equalize. I have never run the entire house off of solar before. Uh, I was pumping water, I just uh, turned off the water pump. Uh, the batteries are still recovering somewhat. We got 13 amps going in. And uh, these batteries used, usually uh, top off and float charge at 28 point four I think so they're almost completely charged it is running the inverter is on and I am running the aeration in the breeding tanks right now but what I'm going to do is this cord here goes to the house I've thrown the dead man switch over there and have everything uh, going in the house. There's a couple fans running, there's a computer plugged in, and the refrigerator. So I just want to see uh, what this will do here. It's not pulling it down nearly as hard as I thought it would. So I'm going to go in and see, check and make sure if the refrigerator is indeed still running. It is pulling it down a little bit. I would have thought that that refrigerator would pull more power than any of the water pumps. But it's not so far. So let's go see if it's running. Might just uh, come out and do the switch every morning. Now it's not a... Look not a perfectly sunny day and even where there's no thick clouds it's a bit hazy so this could be I don't know considered a normal day so let's go see if the fridge is running it is I can hear it I can hear it running so this fridge takes less power than the water pump well that's pretty amazing yeah let me get over here pretty sure you guys can probably hear that maybe yes maybe no But it is nonetheless running, and it's running off of solar. So, let me go check my battery drain. It's, it's holding steady running that pump it, it will almost continuously fall off now it's still bringing in 13 amps so it's using all that power but the voltage is holding steady well now I know I can run the house uh, completely run it on a reasonably um, reasonably sunny day and not totally drain the batteries so that's telling me that uh, if i get those other 400 watts worth of panels off of my buddy that i can run the house and pump water possibly so that would get us 
80% of the way to being off grid. Well, all right. So I've been on, I've had the house on solar for going on four hours now, and it has not been a sunny day. And you can see my voltage here is uh, 26 point or 25.6, and I'm only getting five amps into it currently. And that's because this is not a sunny day. Um, sun is poking out right now but for the most part today it's been those kind of clouds like that right there and because the sun basically just came out we would expect that voltage or that amperage to be climbing up yeah see we're already we're already back at 13 and that's close to the voltage it was when I turned it on so we obviously can't make it through the night on solar because we just don't have the battery bank but with an additional 400 watts and uh, I've contacted my buddy uh, Tracy to ask him because look, what I want to do is just take those four panels, put a separate controller on it, and then just run uh, wires into the batteries and just add additional charge. That's what I want to do, and I'm going to check with Tracy uh, to see if that's feasible. Because another friend of mine suggested that I do just that. And if I can do that, then I can run the house. I don't know, I could probably turn it on close to when, about probably 9 a.m., and probably run it until four. So uh, <laughs> that would go a long ways. Now, whether or not I'll be run because uh, the the water pump the for our well is uh, half horsepower. It's 380 watts. So would I be able to run the house along with the water pump? Eh. I'm thinking it would have to be something pretty close to a sunny day. But uh, if I could run uh, the water pump for several hours a day and the house for even a few more hours than that, and I'm going to go turn the pump on right now because uh, the water tank is not full. But if I can do that, uh, I think, yeah, we're like 80% there. And if we had, well, the battery bank would have to be substantially larger uh, to go through the night. So I'm going to turn this pump on. And I'm just almost expecting to hear the voltage alarm come on by the time I get back up here. But it hasn't yet. At the moment, I'm running the aeration, the water pump, and the refrigerator, and all the lights and fans in the house. And it is dropping. How fast is it dropping? That's the thing. I want to be able to fill up our water tank, which will probably require running that pump for about a half an hour. And then be able to shut it off. And turn off our... Um, switch back over to grid power at about 3.30 and allow the batteries to fully charge in the last two hours of sunlight so that if we have an emergency overnight uh, we have uh, power to at least run the aeration. Stay tuned. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.